national agency based in Western Australia is working to help NASA build a new space station near the moon. The company wants to draw on the state's remote operations ability, which is commonly used in mining, to direct robots in outer space. It's an ambitious mission. By 2026, NASA wants to see an international space station orbiting the moon, providing humans more access to the lunar landscape than ever before. But construction in space is not easy, and it's not what astronauts are trained for. Is that the best use of that individual's time, actually moving around goods on a uh, space station around the moon? No. It, it, we want them to do science and advance uh, the cause of humanity. NASA hopes to use robots to build the spaceship, enter the Australian Remote Operations for Space and Earth. The WA-based foundation brings together universities, mining and technology companies to brainstorm ways to control the robots from Earth. Remote operations did not exist the last time we went to the moon. And in fact, uh, I can safely say that uh, it is in its infancy in the space arena. Western Australia is already leading the way when it comes to remote operations. Mining companies control trains, trucks and deep sea submarines from state control centres in Perth. We want to take that technology, that know-how and apply it to operating assets in space. The West Australian government has pitched in $1.5 million to help scientists with this first mission. We need this technology. It's going to be critical to make solar system exploration work. Emily Evans, Sky News, Perth.